and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Lux Control. Going to try out this deck that's becoming a popular answer to the burn decks. Um, you're able to play health potions and we got three of them in here. And then also some some good life uh, lifesteal creatures. I'm going with two Radiant Guardians. We got the Remembrances that can also sometimes give us Radiant Guardians and so on. But, you know, our, our end game, we're going to be having uh, Karma and Lux. And whenever you have the two of them together, it, it gets uh, pretty amazing because whenever, um, you know, Lux... Whenever you uh, spend six plus mana, you create a final spark. And with karma, you double up those final sparks. You can do some crazy stuff with that. And plus, just a three mana spell, when you get to double, it gets you to six mana and gets you the final spark um, in there. I'm going with a couple of different card choices than than what a lot of people go with this deck. And we talked about it a little bit off... We just talked about this off stream, or off uh, the YouTube uh, video when we were setting this up. But basically... I'm going Claws of the Dragon instead of Eye of the Dragon. And, uh, you know, they're both of these cards are, are for, like, your aggro matchups just to give you a two-drop. And I'm going to go with Claws because, basically, I've I've seen a lot of Eye of the Dragon, and I thought this card was going to be really great, but it just looks worse and worse and worse the, the more I see it. By the time you're actually casting two spells, um, the 2-1 Draggling isn't nearly as impactful. And to start with, you're, you're basically paying for like a two mana one three for a lot of turns and it's just not as good and i'd rather i'd rather so i'd rather have like a three two they can they can do more for me and then plus when it's later i don't have to like spend two mana to play this eye of the dragon that i'd rather be spending mana doing other stuff you can just get the claws of the dragon for free so i'm going that route i'm also going twin disciplines um over like concussive palm um I'm going with I'm going all three deny because I think the metagame has changed for like a week ago deny wasn't any good and we talked about that with like a different video that I actually wanted to just cut all denies and not play any denies but now a lot of people are playing like this kind of deck where you want to be denying like I don't know, remembrances and stuff but a lot of shadow isles um, with like withering whales and things like that that you want to be denying and just just a lot of different decks where deny is looking a lot better so we're going full three deny and then twin disciplines to give us some three mana protection uh, help us protect karma protect lux and also work as a win con with the plus ability um, when we have a leveled up karma that we can put on a, a shadow assassin to give a plus six plus zero but anyway this is all kind of stuff that uh, we we're just talking about but let's let's get to it let's play some games over in ranked we're gonna go play play five games here we go. So what happens when you pur purify a keg? Okay, so it comes a yeah an O one with no abilities. Yeah. So but what about stacking? I don't know. I would assume. I would assume it would like stack next. Like it wouldn't. Like they would go next to it maybe because it'd be a different. So like it would take up a new slot. That'd kind of be my assumption. I do like purify right now, and I kind of wish we were playing purifies. I think it's kind of hard to play three um, health potion and purifies. Like that's kind of where we would find room for more. But I do, I do really like purify. Even just like purifying Boom Crew Rookie feels amazing. Thanks, Rival. Yeah, Rival says I'm glad you have this format for playing decks. It's very educational and entertaining. Good, that's what, that's what I try to do. There's a lot of different viewers out there that want to see different stuff, and so that's what I try to try to do. Try to hit all sorts of decks on the spectrum. Alright, so we're facing a similar deck. Traditionally, in this kind of matchup, Karma Ezreal is ahead in this kind of mirror because they have the the combo potential of just winning the game on the spot with the combo um, of just having a leveled up Ezreal that um, keep casting spells and kill your opponent, where we don't have such uh, niceties as. A one-shot combo. We have to slowly attack. I got ways to find me All 
All right, Ranger, Grizzled Ranger has Scooter. And so Scooter gets you attack and then attack again. is if we challenge yeah I, mean, I can make I can let them make the block but they're just gonna make that block anyway no Vanguard look out waste of a card Maybe thinking, is it safe for me to play my Karma? Okay, so they, they're going to Thermogenic Beam. So that's their plan, is Thermogenic Beam. Which I would like to pass and let them throw a genetic beam and then karma, but it's just kind of it's kind of too risky if I pass and they just also pass. I mean I know that that's not their plan to pass, but it's just too risky if they end up if they do if they if they change plans with me passing and I just waste that mana. See, I like this more than more than the one three. Uh, if, if we had I the dragon, the one three, wouldn't really be at playing this and attacking too much. Wouldn't be doing too much with it. <laughs> Tisa goes, unyielding spirit should be nerfed. Don't at me. What if it said grant a follow grant a follower I can't take damage or die. So you couldn't use it on champions. Would that be a sufficient nerf for you? Static shock. We can do this. Yeah, we can. You can bounce. Yep. You can definitely bounce. I'm not saying that that should be changed. I'm just saying that that's a possibility. And so that's the thing. It's like... Having three denies in our unyielding spirit deck, also pretty good. You know, we can use deny to protect against Will of Ionia for our unyielding spirit card. Um, So Ezreal's at 5 out of 8 right now.
Yeah, you can also use detain. You use obliterate. Those would also work. That single combat was a perfect draw. Perfect draw. Pushing my limit. That's also why I didn't want to play Unyielding Spirit, because of Will of Ionia until we'd have Deny Protection. What do you do with that? Yeah, you can use the emotes. Where there is light, there is hope. On the the in the chat on the right hand side, there's a smiley face. You can hit that, and you can use all my different emotes. Badger Bear. No, and Yielding Spirit's not unbeatable. It can win games. I mean, it's an eight-mana spell. Should probably be powerful enough to win games. But do admit that it it wins games in annoying fashion. Yeah, deck list, you just do exclamation point deck. All right, they draw in. Can't stop that. Will of Ionia. Basically did this to create the final spark. This is a problem. Could single, 
like basically I have, I have I have to go down to eight cards in hand so I can put both of these into my hand. I could um I could have single combated and killed the Lux or sorry killed the Karma that way, but I want to get use out of this final spark. Um, I don't know. Do I even play you, Vanguard Lookout? Or just save the two mana? Probably just save the mana. I don't know. I guess you are a 1 4. But meh. Yeah, they cast two Will of Ionia. So they have they have no more. That was that was all three. I'm so good, I surprised myself. I thought you'd never ask. Oh, it's you. I mean, uh, hey. Sorry. Did I know you? That's true, they could have had one generated by a karma. I was gonna say they could get more from from uh you know generating run runs from the karma spells, but yeah, that's true, they could have just had one generated from a karma. I don't miss. We have killed one Ezreal so far. Wow. Okay, they did get a fourth Will of Ionia. That's... That's a bummer. Yeah, that's a bummer. Worth it. Basically, if I cast the Will of Ionia, I'd save four life. That's about it. Definitely not recall my own. I only save two life at that point. Uh, recall my own spark his Ezreal. How does that? What does that even mean? Yeah, I know. So they won't have mana for Mystic Shop, but they t I take two from the Will of Ionia, and I take two from the Ezreal. So if I don't do this, I take a four, so I go down to 11. Yeah, we we could not final spark that turn. Yeah, yeah. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. So they have to use removal. Oh, no, a stun. I really want them to kill this. And then I would have, like, you know, the Radiant Guardian, Lifesteal, Tough turned on. And have the Lifesteal attacker. Ugh. Ouch. Wow, oh, yeah, that was, that was rough. So I'm going to go with the two elusive things that also help me dig towards looking for another answer for Ezreal.
Man, they had a fourth Will of Ionia. And then that Concussive Palm. Ugh. Not good. Oh, it's you. I mean, uh, hey. Sorry. Do I know you? They probably don't have a fifth will of Ionia, right? Probably not. Nope, they have the deny. It's not bragging if you could back That's up. top deck, health potion. Got a top deck, got a top deck health potion. I thought I was at five and I took three. What just happened? Was I not at five and took three? Was I at five and I just didn't block a one power and a two power? Oh, just my health was bugged. I wasn't actually at five. Oh, I was not at five, so it was telling me I was at five, but I was not. Well, that's a bummer. All right, it's the same kind of matchup again. Uh... This one's better for us because they don't have the, the combo finish with Ezreal that we can't really stop. Fight with my spirits, not my fists. And so that's how I talked about how the beginning of that last match is going to be really tough for us to win because you know, it's really hard for us to stop Ezreal. Here they're going to be attacking just like us, so it's going to be a little easier for us to interact with. Not all left. Bunch of one power. Yeah, because no, I was at nine and then two, four, six. So yeah, I was I was supposed to be at so yeah, I was supposed to be at three. It just showed up as five on my screen. But I was supposed to be at three. So yeah, so that's that was a visual bug. Our life total was wrong. This highwayman is great against Grizzled Ranger. You know, the Trail of Evidence created this. That's that actually works out pretty well against Grizzled Ranger. I mean, I don't know about great, but You know, you're you get to trade with the first half of Grizzled Ranger pretty easily. Could also just not attack. It's a thing I can do also. And not trade my four one for a one two. Mask 
Secure me tail, start to die. All right, let's mess some folks up. In turn. I guess I do have a backup karma if one dies. We'll let them do stuff if they want to just waste all nine mana. I'm wasting seven mana. Here comes the punchline. Where there is life, there is hope. Dawn and Dusk? What am I supposed to do with that? Put Dawn and Dusk on Grizzled Ranger and get a bunch more Grizzled Rangers? So we're going to do the Will of Ionia first because I feel like this is going to get denied. Oh no, it just worked. I thought that was going to get denied and then I was going to try to single combat afterwards. That's kind of my plan. Yeah, Dawn and Dusk on the Karmas. Hey, well, uh, I've been playing playing Legends of Terra for about three months now. Would like to have a deny to protect against Will of Ionia before I unyielding spirit, if possible. Hey, baby. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. <laughs> Try this yet? Time to get rowdy. Times are tough. Act free of doubt. <laughs> On tap under four mana. Don't don't have like deny available. Is all in the mind. I'll see this through. Hmm. Oh right, my my radiant guardian's not even gonna kill this Vi, even if I even if I single combat that. Yeah, that's not even killing it. All right, this wasn't a very good attack. Leeson has text. It's not always evident that Leeson has text, but it does have text. doing anything. To be fair, they're not really doing anything either. Now they're doing some stuff. We can just go with Prismatic Barrier to protect... Karma.
Let's just go for it. Let's go for it. Maybe this time they won't have four Will of Ionia as this game. Yeah, I'm excited about that plunder control later. I think that deck's going to be pretty good. So we want to re want to replay the karma they know about with this game. Whenever a card gets like bounced to your hand, they only know that exact copy. So if I play the other karma, they would still know about that karma in my hands. Yeah, Sub Percival is great. That card is very good. That's a quality card right there. Kind of just getting cards out of my hand so I can draw more cards with these things. I'm fine with that block. Got a bunch of health potions. So Percival is very, very underrated as far as cards go. Yeah, this this isn't looking good at all for us. If we could get, I mean, I should. I guess I need. I need to keep waiting on on yielding spirit. If we could get Lux, maybe we can have, you know, like then we can start creating a whole bunch of final sparks, and like that would be nice. I haven't seen one of those yet. So. Wise 
No, I, I played an unyielding spirit earlier. Oh, right. That thing gets bounced. I, for, I always forget about that part of that, that, that it gets bounced. Well, I shouldn't have gave that... I shouldn't have twin disciplines there. Should have just let it die and played a new one. Okay, there we go. Um We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Again, want to get cards out of my hand. Yuck. That was not good. That was not good. Um, I'm just gonna. I guess I just have to burn this next, this top card now. Not a bad card to burn. You gotta burn something. Yeah, I drew the. Yeah, it still counts as me drawing the card. We still get the puff cap. Get back here. We can do this. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. I think I just pass. We can spend that three mana next turn. Well, we're not passing now. The body must thrive for the mind to be free. So they're just playing straight up Dragon's Rage. That's not like the Lee Sin's Dragon Rage. So keeping, you know, I could have played the Inside Ages, but I need the other Karma. How 
are we going to win this? Man, I wish we didn't have all these six mana useless cards. Maybe Dawn and Dusk can do something for us. Okay, okay, that could do something. So that's four mana. We can play that with Rush. That counts as six mana. As far as Lux is concerned. <laughs> well, this is risky biz risky business. Don't get to Don't get to gain the life. Kind of need that. I will not hold back. Hold them. Close. We could die to these puff caps. Kinda need that life. We have 13 puff caps. Dude, Sub Percival is great. The opponent's very smart for playing that card. That's most likely game. Many past lives in a single soul. And we still have mana for deny. Wow. I didn't really see, did we? Oh, do I deny that or do I just let that happen? I feel like I need to deny that because of the puff caps. I think I have to deny that even though now they, they could have something else that kills me now. So like this is risky because this like, if I don't deny, we stay alive, but we're at two. Yeah, sure. But I think we just had we had to take that risk. I don't know if we just got win above ten cards or not in our hand, because I put the Will of Ionia out here, and then I cast the Burst Spell to fill my hand up, and then I pull, pulled the Will of Ionia back. I don't know if it, like, filled my hand up to ten, and then, like, that counted as eleven... Or if it just filled me up to like 9 with that Will of Ionia being the 10th card. I didn't do the math on it whenever we were playing. Yeah, no, opponent played it great. They, pl they played that whole game really great. They they got me a couple of times with Lee Sin. They, pl they played great. You can't target your opponent with Lux's spell. You can only you can only target uh, you know enemies like the 
the creatures. It does 4 damage to a creature and it has Overwhelm. You can't target the Nexus. And it's also a slow speed spell. Like, we couldn't play it during combat. Yeah, but I couldn't I I never had a chance to cast it. Like we were it's slow speed. We we were dead during combat. Not all well. I know I do like blighted caretaker a lot. Just didn't really have didn't really find room for it. And I I feel like that deck's not a great blighted caretaker deck because it already goes very wide and so it's you know, like with with you having only um, only six slots, a blighted caretaker, you know, takes up three slots. There's going to be a lot of times where you just have an abundance of things in play where where you don't get the value out of blighted caretaker. But no, I do love that card. So I think that was one of theirs, that health potion. I think that was their spell. Sad Radiant Guardian. Looks like they really want to turn on Plunder. Pilfer Goods is burst speed. Can't stop that. them to black market merchant again. That'll be my second spell. I have like a two mana deep meditation this next turn. Double pilfer goods. We have been getting wrecked by black market merchants, pilfer good, twisted fate decks over the last like three days. This deck that I'm playing doesn't seem doesn't seem very good against other other control decks. Seems like a control deck to beat that's built to beat aggro, but these other control matchups our decks looked pretty bad. Let the light guide you. Let's just start throwing some haymakers out here. Force them to have answers.
I don't want to attack. They make it rain, get rid of the barrier, you know, get a lot more damage in. Oh, I like my Grizzled Ranger. I could, but I'd rather, I don't, it, yes, so yeah, if I could, if I did attack there and they did hit it for some damage, like we're talking about, yes, I could heal it back with health potion, but I also just don't think that that is really worth the risk. I'd rather save health potion for after we have a leveled up karma and gain a lot of life back. I just realized they could Riptide Rex this turn. Wow, Riptide Rex would be horrible for me to see. Yeah, that would be horrible. Not Riptide Rex. Rex. Yep, just karma. Got lots of spells. Three, six. I have ten. Gotta play something. No, 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 no. I was trying to play the on guard and I just misclicked. Oh man, that's embarrassing. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. I was just going to get rid of the on guard, but... I just I just played a, a Karma's leveled up spell, the Inside of Ages, for one... You know, I had ten cards in hand and I just played it Inside of Ages. Completely, completely wasted that two mana. I'm at five out of six. Could just play a health potion, but do you want to wait till next turn? I mean, yeah, that I should be three off <laughs> of Lux. 
That was embarrassing. Ooh, Sky, okay, you want me to change the pet? What do you want me to... Sky, what do you want me to change the pet to next game? Be redeeming that. I don't think that I would be able to kill their karma. Like, I, I think that they would do interaction. Like, it's basically a battle I didn't really want to fight at this point. I didn't want to fight the try to kill their karma battle. I would rather fight the keep my Lux and karma in play and next turn start making a ton of final sparks that they can't deal with battle. So I just didn't, I didn't want to waste resources of like try to challenge here, then they do stuff, then I have to respond and all that kind of stuff. I'd rather just have the safer play of get rid of the elusive. Ghost Shark. All right. Y'all remind me. All right, Ghost Shark. Coming up after this. What rank am I at right now? Like one. Oh, I'm sorry, opponent. This my mic was covering up the uh, pass button. I I didn't realize that they were waiting on me. Um, like 190-ish around there the answer lies within heart and mind as one so final spark is what I'm going to be using to win this hopefully Lux. We did such yeah, we did such Wani Frostbite. Struggled against Bilgewater two for one decks. Uh, we lost four time to Bilgewater decks. Hold back the darkness by force of will. This is going to two. So let's go into five. Why would that not save it? All right, I go down to three, Karma dies. Karma's still gonna die. Right, I just realized that Karma's still gonna die because both of these are targeting Karmas. Well, get more final sparks. Fighting it again? Oh, thank, thank you, thank you for 
helping me out there, because I messed that up. Oh, they fought over there? Hmm. I thought they were fighting over here again. Well, that's a lot worse for me. Should have stand united before. No. No, I didn't need to do that. Alright, uh, we'll just end this round. We both lose a fleeting spell. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. So I have two Luxes are gone, because I burned a Lux with having that full hand. We do have two Luxes gone. We will not stand by. If I would have used Spark, then yeah, they had the five mana, they would have replayed Karma. Didn't want them to do that. Seven mana. The body must thrive for the mind to be free. No, nah, it's definitely not worth double denying. Yeah, I'm not gonna cast both the eyes to stop the two little Ionias. Ugh, that card is so great. Is that gonna mill me out? That card's so great. Burst speed. That's true, they are helping me to the locks because I can't take a uh, champion with that. That is true. So our last Lux is somewhere in the in these eight. So we got twelve and a half percent chance of drawing a Lux. Yep, and we can put more karmas in the deck. To make sure we don't mill out. Yeah. 
Wow, they didn't attack. Why won't they attack there? Yeah, this game take this deck takes forever, doesn't it? Oh, come on. Playing my remembrances. That's rude. <laughs> This is hour and ten minutes. This is game number three. This has not been a deck that I've been really thinking, man, I want to play this deck more. This deck that we're playing right now. I do see how, how it's can be really, really good against aggro. But control mirrors with the deck that we're playing are really rough. And that's, we face three control mirrors. And these games are really rough. My opponent hasn't even, like, started playing Twisted Fates yet. Or, like, dead whenever they start playing Twisted Fates. Just passing back to me? Cool. Oh. I just passed priority, but then... How do they get priority again? If they passed and then... And then I pass. Why do they get priority again? Yeah, they played a burst spell. But after they played the burst spell, they don't want to play anything. So they passed. So then why... Why do they get it back? That is that is strange. Eyes open. So it doesn't count as a pass. But shouldn't it count as a pass? Because you don't do anything, right? So now we're past, like, I mean, you, you say I don't want to do anything. I don't know, it's weird. Okay, because it, because you played a card. So it doesn't count as a pass because you played a card. But you play a card and then you hit pass priority. Oh well. Alright, so they're drawing another fleeting one next turn.
Lux is somewhere in these these five cards. It's probably gonna be our very last card. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, so that only draws but that's still that's gonna draw three. It's going to draw three fleeting. We probably can't mill them out, can we? Probably not. This game may never end, to be honest. Like, honestly, like, this game may not end. Like, this may be, like, was it 30 turns and then, then it's a draw? Could be a draw. Ready yourself. Yeah, I guess Lux probably ends it. Uh, I don't know what round it is right now. We'll see at the beginning of the turn. It's hard to it's hard to protect Lux with deny though. Whenever they like, you know, all their spells are double also. It's not easy. And I can't really swap allies because they swap and then swap back. <laughs> so that doesn't work. Round 15. Round 16. What is malevolence? Here's Lux. So we'll try our best to not have Lux die. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. Clear your head. Let your instinct speak. Keep drawing more cards. Go ahead.
All right, so they just put two more Karmas back in here. I'm so I'm so patient. Too patient. Maybe I'm too patient. Breathe in, breathe out. Come on, burn a karma. Oh, I thought they were burning a card. We know they have a bunch of Karmas in their deck. So, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to spark Karma or, or Twisted Fate. We know that they have extra Twisted Fate. Like, they have, like, you know, like, probably two Twisted Fates and three Karmas would be my guess. Left in their deck. I'll make that, like, five Karmas. Yeah, I was planning on denying the red card. Deny's not really doing a, a lot else. And I, I pumped this thing up so the gold card would, would be hitting this and not hitting my Lux, but obviously that, that could have been a mistake. Zanai's just not not helping too much with these karmas. And I, I'll final spark the this thing. Wait. Oh, okay. Only one deny happened, that's why. Where there is light, there is hope. This is risky if they have removal for this karma. I think I may lose because I didn't cast the inside of ages. But I I'm kinda thinking they don't have removal for that karma. That's not like will of you know like a hard removal spell. No more holding back. Excuse me. Only fools play the hand they're dealt. 
But now our, our Karma is not one toughness, so it's not going to just die to the red card. So that's good. Oh, then there's that, I suppose. Right, that's a card that's in our deck. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. I don't I wanna necessarily say they're just out of wills, like will of Ionia's. Um all right, if I play this, yeah, we'll have Oh no, because then uh, we won't actually create the final spark if I play this. So, Alright, so we'll play this first. Oh, you think I should be doing the switch? Switch? I don't know, it's a lot of Nexus damage, too. I just kind of feel like just bouncing their karma instead. Opponent surrendered! Lux! Final spark! Gonna win the game! <laughs> GG. All right, so we're gonna, yeah, two years later, yeah. Usually we play five games with each deck. I'm gonna move on after three here, cause that's an hour and a half <laughs> for the three games, which is pretty crazy. Like, that's that's a still a that's already a really really long YouTube video. It's longer than I basically ever play. Um. Yeah, at this rate, it'd be another hour for two more games. <laughs> uh, all right, so Karma Lux Control. This deck really is tuned well for an aggro metagame, and if you're playing at like lower ranks where you play against a lot of aggro, I, I'd recommend it. You know, triple health potion um, with this stuff and the Radiant Guardians Remembrances, that kind of stuff. I like it. Grizzled Ranger is just amazing. It's just a great card. Same with Shadow Assassin. Um, meh, Badger Bear, meh. But I really like Twin Disciplines. I think this card was really good. Deny was good except for the whole against Karma kind of thing. Um, but yeah, control matchups, control mirrors with this deck is pretty rough. Especially like the Ezreal, like the Ezreal control decks, is, that's, that's really tough. We almost won that Ezreal mirror, but... Um, yeah, this game takes forever to win. <laughs> like, you're just trying to win with Lux. Can take forever. But there we go. If you like control and you like beating aggro with control, this can be the deck for you. And Badger Bear is a much... So somebody in chat says, Badger Bear is a must against mid-range decks. I can see that. And it's also just good against, like, the burn decks. Being four toughness, doesn't just die to get excited. Noxion Fervor, Mystic Shot, like that kind of stuff. It's a great blocker. Being able to block... Um, Boom Crew Rookie is is really necessary, so it's like it's just perfect there. Um, how is Heimer Vi doing versus Karma as Karma Lux? Um, I, again, Ezreal's kind of like the the best version of like in those in the uh, in the control mirrors because Ezreal has the combo finish, and yeah, the, the combo finish uh, beats the other control decks that are just trying to attack. I like Heimer probably, I think I like Heimer more in, in these kind of matchups because you just get all of those 3-1 elusives to beat down. I really like those. Um, so yeah, I think I'd probably like Heimer, Vi, and then, and you know, Vi challenging and everything's nice too. I think I'd like Heimer, Vi versus this deck. Heads up. Um, uh, you don't... Hey, yeah, you don't you don't really play anything before turn three against even against aggro. Like it, you know, we have the claws of the dragon. We got that. Um, but a lot of times your your turn three plays like remembrance, or it's like badger bear with twin disciplines and stuff like that. It's you know you if spell mana wasn't a thing, you couldn't possibly play a deck like this. But because spell mana is a thing, you can try to catch up. Like you know you 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 get to uh, catch up a good amount. But. 
All right, well played. So there we go. That's Karma Lux Control. We're going to play some Ender Spiders and then a Plunder Control after that. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know how this deck's going for you or anything else. You know, I always like seeing those comments. You know, any comments, questions, leave them there. For those of y'all in, um, in tw Twitch here, there's the link to the YouTube channel. I always put up four to five videos every single day over on YouTube, what we do here on stream. All right, but thank you so much for watching Karma Lux Control, and I'll see you for the next video.